Welcome back to Planning Mindfully with Jules. This week, we're going to take what we've learned the last two weeks with time blocking and color blocking and talk a little bit about the different types of ways to do those um, methods. Now, color blocking is going to be done in a calendar. Now, whether that's an old-fashioned day timer or digital and in 99% of the cases I believe it's going to be a digital form so if you use Gmail or Google Calendar or Outlook or Microsoft Calendar and many others out there that's your digital format and in all likelihood you can create categories and those categories can be in a color specific to how you've decided to color block the Outlook is what I use, and, and I've also used uh, Google Calendar, and those definitely have categories in them. And you just need to figure out what colors you're going to use for what. And if you look back at the previous video, you'll see what I'm talking about there. So that's aspect one to how you're going to color block and time block. As Where were you six months ago? Have you achieved your six month goals? The highest achievers prioritize their tasks. Go from chaos to organized quickly with the JMA Planner. If you miss deadlines, you write down your dreams and not work towards them, you find yourself scattered and you're always trying to catch up and you feel out of control, then the JMA Planner is for you. If you want to be able to track your successes, focus on your priorities, block your time and get tasks complete, document your life and set attainable goals and not feel overwhelmed, then buy yours today at juliamstudios.com slash JMA Planner. Aspect two is the time blocking. Now, I've invented the JMA Planner, which works in conjunction with your digital calendar and it is meant for time blocking. It's also a journal so you can bullet journal in it, keep track of all your things. So that is one other way that you can time block in a type of planner. Now there's other paper planners out there as well that you can do the same thing but most of those all list out times 8 o'clock 8 a.m. 9 a.m. 10 a.m. etc where the JMA planner just gives you a grid to work through how much time you need it's not associated with the time so mentally you're not kind of blocked or restricted to a clock you're restricted to a time frame in lieu of an actual clock other than for your appointments and they work like I said it works hand in hand with your digital calendar where you're doing your color blocking the other thing that you can do for time blocking is a bullet journal and this is where you would take like a moleskin and bullet journal your days and get creative with that and I know a lot of creatives that do bullet journal I actually started uh, this whole entire process about five or six years ago with the bullet journal and using moleskins and through that process is how I came up with the JMA planner so the other thing is you figured out that you're going to use Microsoft Outlook let's say or Microsoft Mail or not Microsoft Mail sorry Microsoft Calendar that comes with Windows 10 to keep track of your digital calendar, your times, your meetings, your appointments, etc. You can use in conjunction with that the Microsoft To Do's app or the Microsoft Planner app, all of which can be used on iOS or Android, can also tie into your Outlook, can be accessed via a web page. In other ways, in there you can time block your tasks as well. You can color code, you can put estimated durations to them and tie them to when they need to be complete by day. And there's different views to view them. I would find that the JMA, or not the JMA, sorry, the out, uh, Microsoft Planner 
would work better for that than Microsoft to do's. To do's is kind of just like a task. Now, one that I don't have much experience with, but I do know people that use is Google tasks. And again, I don't believe that you can necessarily um, see it in a planner sort of view, but you can list your tasks by day, categorize them, and put time durations to them. And that's the important part with the tasks is the time durations. Uh, and then as I mentioned before, the JMA Planner, which is a sponsor for uh, these weekly uh, YouTube videos, but also, like I said, is works and marries with your digital life very uh, cleanly and smoothly. So your flow and what you can accomplish uh, works really well. And then other paper planners can do the same thing. Uh, but if I was to choose something, I obviously I endorse and use the JMA planner and that can be done digitally or via paper. There's two formats of it. Uh, but if you just want to go be very simple, then just pick yourself up a moleskin and learn how to bullet journal. And um, I think one of these planning mindfully sessions coming up, I will do a bullet journaling and how to get started with that. But that'll be a few weeks because that's going to take a little bit of planning uh, since I don't uh, bullet journal regularly anymore. But hopefully you found this helpful with the different types of planners in order to time block and color block. And once you're using those two things together, you'll be very effective and efficient in getting your task complete. So until next time, plan mindfully. And if again, if you ever have questions, hello at juliemstudios.com. And uh, you can also comment below. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and share these items.